Okay, in this video, we're going to set up the IONOS VPS. So we're going to go to this website right here, ionos.com forward slash servers forward slash VPS. All right, and I'll have that in the box below the video. Next, we're going to click on C packages. We want to get the VPSM six months for $5. Okay, going to hit continue. We're going to go for a Windows. It's going to say $10 a month, but don't worry about it. Windows. We want with minimal system, Windows Server 2012. The data center, United States. Click next, continue. Okay, here it is, 12 months, $5. No setup, so your total is $5. You don't need no domains. Click on continue. Now with that, my billing information right here, and everything is right here. All I'm gonna do is click confirm, and order now. Now, once you click order now, it will send you an email. It may go to your spam order. I'm not going to click the order now because I already have it. But it's going to go to your email. I'm going to show you my email. Now, you may get three emails. You may only get two. I was one of the lucky ones when I signed up for the first time that they sent me the first email right here, my order confirmation. Your order confirmation is going to look like this. It's going to say your order is processing. And it's going to tell you. It's going to tell you what you got. And down at the bottom, it's going to have your customer ID number. Okay? Now, if you're one of the lucky ones like I was, I was selected to have identity verification when I did mine. So I got a second email right here that said authorized, A-U-T-H. Okay? And it pretty much said I needed to contact them at this 800, at this 877 number or respond by emailing proof of my identification. This stuff right here. Okay? Um, I elected to just give them a call because I knew it would be quicker. So I called the 877 number, spoke to a gentleman. The only thing they required was to hear my voice just to make sure I was a real person. Then he went ahead and sent me my third email, which would be your second email if you don't have to go through that. going to be from one and one. Going to hit that right there. It's going to say welcome. It's going to have your contract ID on it. And it's going to have set up server now. Okay, set up your server now. You're going to click on set up your server now. It's going to be coming to your cloud control panel. Okay, you're going to get this. Let it load. Your cloud server right here, your IP address for your login. This is for your VPS. So you're going to click on this cloud server. And it's going to give you information, your host, which is your IP address, the username, which is going to be administrator, and your password. Click on show password. Next, that's all you need is the IP address, your, your username, and the initial password. Next, you want to come down to, down to the search bar, I mean the run bar on your Windows. And you're going to type in remote desktop. And it should give you, a, a it should populate the remote desktop connection. You're going to click on Remote Desktop Connection. It's going to bring up a box, okay? You want to put in this number. I've already got mine in there, and my administrator's already here. But what you do, you come in, you put your number in, and, and your box is going to have a username. Mine is going to be is administrator. You're going to put administrator in there, and you're going to click Save, and then Connect. Now, I don't need my password, okay, because I've already put it in there. Your password will come right before this. You're going to get this right after you enter your password. It's going to say the identity of the, remote com of the remote computer cannot be verified. Do you want to continue anyway? Yes. I'm not going to click. You can click this box, and it won't show this anymore every time you connect. I'm not going to click it just in case I have to redo the video. Okay? So you're going to, you're going to click the box and say yes. That is going to now uh, sign you into your remote computer. Okay, so now you are in your VPS. To get out of your VPS, simply take your mouse to the top, and it comes up. This is your IP address. This right here is your signal. Tells you your connection info. You can click it. Tells you the quality of my connection is good. Go back with the mouse. It brings it back, and just click the X. Just click the X, and you're signed out of it, and you're back to where you began.